Hi everyone! Today I'm showing you the new Essence Pretty Natural Foundation. I'm giving my review. I've done a couple of wear tests. I'll show you what the foundation looks like uh, with a complete face and I'll tell you some things about it. For starters, this one retails for only 5 euros in uh, the Netherlands at least. Um, I'll put a link down below with the price in the US and uh, the UK. But still, that's pretty amazing. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the Ultra Latin, uh, the Chanel. And that one retails for, I believe, 50 euros. So this is 10 times as cheap. And therefore, I was very curious if it is actually any good. This foundation comes in 36 shades. Um, I have mine in the shade 30 Neutral Ivory. It's supposed to have 24 hour wear. Um, it's a long lasting hydration foundation uh, because it has hyaluronic acid and that's supposed to uh, retain the moisture from the air and therefore hydrate your face while you're wearing it. I, I have done wear tests up to 11 and a half hours and um, I have some thoughts about that claim. I'll read the description here. Um, hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturization with a natural cover, a coverage, finish and weightless skin feel. It's also vegan. So that's also very nice. Um, still, that's a lot of claims. I'm not sure what they mean by long wear finish. In my mind, that means it's matte. And we're gonna see if that's actually the case, but it's supposed to have a natural coverage, so maybe something more like a demi matte or a satin. I'm not really sure what I mean by that. And also, hyaluronic acid is kind of tricky because, in my case, I have pretty dry skin usually. It, it sort of dries out my skin pretty much immediately. So, for me, a hyaluronic acid usually means that it's a matte finish. But we're gonna use a proper hydrating primer today and then we'll see how it holds up. Oh, by the way, there's one fluid ounce in this, 30 milliliters. So let me put my hair back with these ears. <laughs> so as usual, I'm going to show you what my skin condition is. I just came out of the shower, so my skin is a little bit red, um, but still... Um, and a little bit dry, but nothing unusual. You see I have some redness and a little bit of darkness around my eyes. Some dry patches. But usually my skin is in fair, pretty fair condition. I have some post blemish marks. So not that it minds, but then you'll see if this foundation actually covers anything or if it's really natural. I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer because this gives a lot of moisture back to the skin. And we're gonna need it or else the hyaluronic acid will be the death of us. <laughs> so really around the eyes. I'm just going to squeeze some on my hand. I don't think you need to use that much of this foundation but I'm gonna give it a proper layer, so I'm gonna use about that much. And I'm using a brush. Also really bring it down the neck. And then almost in the air and with that little bit of foundation I can actually make it to the forehead as well that's one a thin layer applied to half of my face let's take a look so this is some of the blemish ble post blemish marks I have here and you see the ones on this side they're pretty well covered. Also, my redness is toned down a lot. The shade is perfect for me, I believe. At this point, it's a little bit dewy. 
Let's see if it sets down. That's one layer applied to the whole of my face. See, it, leave, it left some darkness here, some redness there. I have a little bit left, let's see if we can build it up. I guess that's possible. And on close inspection, I also think it still looks nice when you build it up a little bit. So that's good to know. So it's spread out with a brush very easily. There's always some lines left where you have to go over a couple of times, but that's pretty normal for any foundation applied with a brush. It does become a lot thicker very quickly. So when I put it on my hand, it was quite runny. You can see it left a, a mark, a, a run mark <laughs> on my hand. But uh, by the time I applied the second half of my face, it was already very thick, but it still blended out all right. So at this point, when I look at my face closely, I, I don't think it's actually natural. And this I also noticed the uh, last couple of times I wore it. I've worn it about five times now, sometimes just a couple of hours, sometimes a very long day. Uh, in all kind of circ circumstances, it holds up nicely. I have to give it that. It really held up for the 11 and a half hour I was wearing it and I was doing all kinds of things that day and it also was raining a little bit and I was wearing a mask and still it held up. But it looks like foundation. Um, it's not the worst. Uh, I don't really mind that, but still, you can see it clings to the skin a little bit. You see some pores, some, some dryness. The color is nice and it does really even out the skin very nicely. But see, it also leaves some, some marks. I really don't have very big lines on my forehead yet, but this one really uh, amplifies them. So that's something to note. Um, I'll uh, finish up my face. I'll fast forward uh, to when I'm finished. Uh, we'll take a closer look and I'll do a wear test on camera today. I'll see it's now uh, half past 11 in the morning. And I'll see if I can wear it till after dinner at least. And then we'll have a check-in and see if it's drier or more radiant. And if the hyaluronic acid actually dried me out or not. Because that's very important to me. And I think that's very important in general. Alright, see you in a bit.
done. This, this is my full makeup look. I had a lot of fallout, so don't mind this being blue. Still, I like this look. It's a little much for noon, but still, I like it. Uh, now, that I, now that I have a full face, let's take a closer look at this foundation. So I didn't powder or do anything really here and here. And on other places, I also didn't powder, but did put on other products. So I think this may help us take a closer look. You see it's settled in my smile lines there. This one. All in all, it looks pretty okay. Um, I don't love it. I also don't love it for five euros. I mean, it's fine for day to day, but it doesn't make me feel very pretty in any way. At best, it makes me feel nice, like I have makeup on. Um, it really is a nice base for all the other products. Uh, I had no problem applying bronzer over it. It didn't dry down completely, but still, it's very close. Let's see how that's uh, at the end of the day. So yeah, at this point, I'd say, and this is also based on the other days I was wearing it, it's fine, it, it really is, but the Chanel one was something special compared to this. It just, it doesn't have that nice skin-like finish that it's supposed to have. What were the other claims? Um, natural coverage. I'd say it's pretty high coverage. It also, it almost covered all my redness and dark spots. It covered most of my blueness under my eyes. And especially when you went, go in with a second layer, it's, it's pretty medium to full coverage. Um, natural finish. Well, for me that's true because my skin is always a little dry. So for me, it, it looks kind of like my skin, but still it looks like there's something on top of it. It does cling a little bit to the skin. Um, it doesn't really melt into the skin like some other foundations do. And the weightless feel. I'm not too sure about that one. I think it feels a little bit sticky. Um, the other day I was wearing it, I only uh, put it on my face around 5 p.m. And a couple of hours later, I really was feeling this, this mask feeling. And I don't know if it was just the day, the, the temperature, if anything else was up. But I really thought, hmm, this is not a very comfortable foundation. But the other day when I was wearing it for 11 and a half hours, I really almost didn't notice it. So I think that maybe depends very much on the primer you use. So let's uh, check in in an hour or four and see how this foundation looks by then. And I'm back. It's now four and a half hours later. And I wanted to show you what, it's look, what it looks like before the sun goes down. Because I don't have good enough lighting to do this check-in in the evening. But I will show you a picture at the end of the video showing you what it looked like just before I washed it off. So, let me come in closer. It still hasn't set down completely. It's a little bit moist. I think it looks the same. If I look up closely, it, it didn't break up on my nose and that's usually where uh, my foundation breaks up. It actually happens almost every time. So that's pretty remarkable. I have to give it that. I think it got a little bit more glowy for me. So maybe the hyaluronic acid works in my favor. This of course is highlighter, but here I didn't put any. And that's also where it's a little bit glowy. So I think this foundation becomes better over time. We will see in the final check-in if that's really the case. I didn't really notice it the past couple of days when I was using the foundation. I think it looked okay at the end of the day. Um, actually it looked just as fine as it did in the morning, but I'm not sure if it looked better than in the morning and that would be <laughs> pretty remarkable again so um for now let me round up my thoughts by the way 
<laughs> don't be alarmed by my lipstick i want to wear my lynn silver gucci lipstick <laughs> this one <laughs> because of the blue eyeshadow but on camera it looks a little bit scary i think so please don't be offended by that anyway as i was saying um i think for five euros this is a pretty okay foundation i think it's pretty cool how it uh, stays fresh on the face so the hyaluronic acid apparently does its job uh, it doesn't dry out my skin but it adds moisture that does mean it remains a little bit tacky, but I'm okay with that. It's just that it also feels a little, a little bit thick and, and tacky. So, especially here around my nose and well, also here where I have the least amount of product, I can really feel it when I move my mouth and my nose. So I don't really like that feeling and um, that's just gonna remain for how long you leave the foundation on. That's the way it was from when I put it on this uh, afternoon so that's a big drawback for me uh, and also there's the fact that it does look a little bit thick and and caked up maybe i put on too much but i don't think so um, i think that's just the way this foundation is it is a little thick and it is a little bit of a high coverage foundation and it is matte it's it says it's natural uh, natural finish but it is quite matte so yeah, that could be a downside or an upside for you. Uh, either way, for 5 euros, it's pretty remarkable how long it stays on the skin and remains the same. So, yeah, I would recommend this foundation, especially if you have a little bit more oily skin. Um, and oh, also, I'd recommend um, spraying your face every now and then. I did that uh, a couple of hours ago. I used this Mister from Guerlain to add in some extra moisture if your skin is a little bit more dry because otherwise the hyaluronic acid is gonna dry out your skin probably. So that would be my advice and then I think that it's suitable for everyone. And it's available in 36 shades and even in my local drugstore I think there were some pretty dark, dark shades. Um, I think the lightest and the darkest shade were uh, available in the store itself and otherwise you have, you'd have to order it online. But the shade selection also in the store was pretty wide. I think about 15 shades. So yeah, uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by that. So I hope you found this uh, review helpful. And otherwise, <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope you... I, I hope you still enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> um, if you did, please remember to like and even subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of makeup videos and also art. So maybe I'll see you in the next one. Bye!